Okay, well, what we've done, we've um, had a great deal of difficulty trying to do anything for this little birdie, and we've tried about four different procedures to um, get his beak in alignment and to um, uh, keep it in alignment. Um, I tried, first of all, I had to refracture it, refracture the jaw, and because it was um, already a week over ridden and calloused together, fused like that, and we had to get it like that or like that to allow the lengthening of the jaw uh, on the lower left side. Um, we had to do that surgically, and I used a uh, 23 gauge needle as my scalpel uh, to, to do that. Then we tried putting four pins along the two pins here and two pins here using um, very fine needles, um, 30 gauge needles and and then setting a little splint between them but the splint wouldn't uh, wouldn't stay and that didn't work. Then we tried putting a acupuncture needle lengthwise through here down the jaw but it took multiple attempts to do that and um, um, it was not possible for me to get the pin or keep the pin the whole within the bone the whole length of the jaw so it tended to stick through we get it in the bone and then it would come out one side or come out the other side anyway it's been he's been through the mill um, so what we've now done is put a um, another pin an acupuncture needle down the right lower jaw as well so he's got a pin in the left lower jaw and he's got a pin in the right lower jaw but the pin in the right lower jaw uh, I've bent it up and then put some uh, dental acrylic cement on the tip of his beak to try and keep it at an angle so that when he closes his beak um, it tends to correct the scissor. So I don't know if this is going to work but it's the best we can do for him at the moment. It's certainly not ideal um, and we've given him pain relief obviously. Um, but that's the, the result we've got on that side. Uh, he's still got his tongue out to some extent to this side um, and he's still got a bit of deformity in the beak but um, it's improved on what it was. Whether it will heal or not now I do not know, only time will tell and that is um, the debate that we have with little wild birds and how far do we take them most people would not agree with me doing what I've done, and I acknowledge that. Um, most people would say the birdie should just be put to sleep. But if we can extend his life and save his life and uh, he gets quality of life at the end of the day, well, it's, it's been worthwhile. And uh, we don't learn by not trying. So even though I may not have been successful on this birdie, I might be more successful on the next one. So that's my attitude and that's the way I've become a bird specialist is by trying and trying and trying when things have looked hopeless and when someone is willing to, to work with me and help me as Elizabeth is then I say thank you and uh, I wish this little birdie every bit of help. Um, I ask for every bit of help for this little birdie from what we're doing and what might be done from other realms but anyway I pray for a little miracle for this birdie he deserves it so thank you Elizabeth thank you thank you very much right here.